Hi guys, it's Emma and I've got another true crime case for you. It's a missing person, but with a twist. There's lots going on in this case. British lady Sharm Heslop vanished off a yacht while sailing with her boyfriend in the Caribbean. A search is underway in the Caribbean around the US Virgin Islands for the 41 year old after Ryan Bain, her boyfriend, told cops she may have fallen overboard. So who is Sam Heslop? Sam from Southampton previously worked as a flight attendant and in call centres. She'd been living in the area since the beginning of 2020. She is described as well-travelled, a Caucasian female, around 5 foot 7 inches tall with a tattoo on her left shoulder. Friends say she's a strong swimmer and very level-headed. Sam went to bed on the boat called The Siren Song on the 7th of March after having dinner with her boyfriend on the island of St John. Her boyfriend, Bain, was woken at 2am on the 8th of March when the anchor alarm on the charter yacht went off and he discovered that she had gone. At 11.46am, some 10 hours later, he alerted the US Coast Guard. A dog walk on the island of St John has now claimed that he heard a scream during the time she vanished from her boyfriend's catamaran. Friends, along with help from the locals and the cops, have since launched a massive hunt for this missing woman. Police claimed Heslop may have moved to a different island, despite no record of her ever leaving the boat. They're putting a lot of resources into helping to find the missing lady. We are looking into the possibilities that she could have left the island to go to another island. So who is the boyfriend? Well, the boyfriend is Ryan Bain, a 44-year-old American charter captain, and he has told cops that she might have fallen overboard in the night. He owns and skippers the 47-foot-long 500,000-pound siren song. Reports state that he has been distraught by her disappearance. Somebody stated, the last message I heard from him was that he was in pieces, said one of the couple's friends. He's totally distraught. He doesn't like being in the public spotlight. It's not his style. The wealthy boyfriend of missing Brit, Sam Heslop, refused to discuss her disappearance today with one of the news reporters when they confronted him on a secluded beach in the US Virgin Islands. Ryan Bain, 44, repeated the words no comment four times to one of the reporters when they intercepted him as he made a landfall in Great Cruise Bay in St Thomas. We asked the Michigan native if he would finally let cops search his 47-foot catamaran or whether he was prepared to reveal more about the night when she mysteriously disappeared. But instead of providing answers for the anguished family back in the UK, the charter boat skipper turned and walked away, heading inward with his pet Labrador hunter. In the hours after Sam's disappearance on the 8th of March, Bain told authorities she had vanished without a trace while the couple were anchored in picturesque Frank Bay. Two weeks and the case is at a standstill. However, after wealthy Bain lawyered up and blocked detectives from conducting any searches of his £500,000 vessel, authorities need a warrant to board but are yet to obtain one because Sam's disappearance has not been classified as a criminal inquiry and Bain is currently neither a suspect nor a person of interest. Bain is holed up on board Siren Song, which is still anchored in the idyllic St John, off limits to investigators from both the Virgin Islands Police and the FBI. After spending much of Wednesday moored a hundred yards from the shoreline, he hopped in a dinghy just after 3pm and headed half a mile towards a private beach belonging to the island's plush Westin Resort. Some of the reporters followed him in a motorboat and caught up with Ryan Bain as he tried tied up his dinghy before walking up a trail towards a grocery store. We asked him if he would agree to have his boat searched, if he would tell us more about her final evening before she disappeared and whether he would guarantee he had nothing to do with her disappearance. When Bain snubbed our questions, we tried his St Thomas-based attorney David Catty, same statement he issued to reporters several days earlier. 
At this time, we are not fielding any other requests for interviews or statements, he added. A close friend had previously told the Daily Mail that Bain was not in hiding but was refusing to speak to the island's police officers because he didn't trust them. Sam, a former flight attendant from Southampton, had met him on Tinder eight months ago and travelled to the Caribbean to work as a cook on the Siren Song, which he charters out for more than $2,000 a day. It's understood the couple had lined up 10 or more bookings for the coming season, worth over £100,000. However, their plans came to a shocking halt when Bain raised the alarm at 2.30am on March the 8th, telling police his lover had gone, but telling them her belongings were still on board. In his initial account to cops later that morning, Bain said the pair had been out for dinner that previous night before going back to the boat at 10pm to sleep. He said he'd been woken up at 2am by an anchor alarm which triggers an alert on the boat and when he got up, Sam had vanished. Police say Bain was advised to ring the US Coast Guard but it later emerged that they did not receive an SOS call until 11.46am more than nine hours later. A massive land and sea search involving divers, helicopters and an island-wide appeal for leads subsequently failed to find Sam or any evidence that she fell overboard. Since then, cops have been scouring CCTV from the island bars and businesses to trace the couple's last steps and have been prevented from setting foot on the boat. Soon after reporting Miss Heslop's missing, Mr Bain acquired the services of an attorney. Upon his attorney's advice, Mr Bain exercised his constitutional rights to remain silent and denied officers' request to search the vessel. Friends and relatives have stated that they would like assurance from the authorities in the Virgin Islands that they are doing everything possible to find her and that the investigation into their beautiful and cherished daughter's disappearance includes a comprehensive fingertip search of this boat. Our daughter is a UK citizen and we ask for all of the support from the UK authorities that they can offer. Our thanks goes to the local people of St John who continue to search for Sham. We will never give up looking for her and we still hope that we will find her. But then, in another report, the police state that Ryan Bain had a domestic violence arrest in 2011 which showed a chaotic scene and a description of violence against Bain's ex-wife. The police report from November 2011 shows that Bain's ex-wife called the police in the early morning hours after the couple drove from a wedding. She alleged that Ryan Bain dragged her out of the car and that he assaulted her again once they were inside their home. From the arrest report, after running down the stairs, Ryan grabbed her in the dining room, threw her to the ground and smashed her head into the floor, chipping one of her teeth. Her right earlobe was bloody and scratched, her right shoulder and her right side of her neck showed red scratches. Her eyelid was scratched and red. Bain's ex-wife also told police that this was not the first time Bain had allegedly assaulted her, though she did not report the previous incident. The documents show that Bain a contradictory account of his ex-wife's statements, but the record notes indicate police were not convinced of his story. As previously reported, the FBI is now assisting the USVI police with the investigation into Saan Heslop's disappearance. Bain has still not been named a suspect. So what do you think to all that, guys? There's a lot going on. He won't let them search the boat. Why? Why won't he let the search the boat? It's not like they're going to turn it completely upside down. They want to go in there. They're going to take some fingerprints. They're going to see if there's a disturbance. For all we know, she could actually be on there. If he's done something terrible, she could still be there. I mean, we don't want to think along these lines, but he's not letting us on this boat. And until they have actually been on there and done some proper investigation on that boat, we're still not going to know exactly what happened. Is he lying? Is his past a red herring? Or something we should be taking into account given the situation. What do you think guys? Let me know in the comments.